got this little suction cup thing for I think it was six or seven dollars. I'll put the the link in the description or whatever. It just collapses down like that, it sticks to glass or whatever surface. Uh, got the ball and socket here. Um, it doesn't support a ton of weight, but you could put like a point and shoot, or uh, maybe if, um, it has a standard little tripod thing here. So, or maybe a cell phone or something. But um, if you have a cheap uh, newer uh, point and shoot camera, most of them have high def video on them. So um, you can, you know, find one used for about 50 bucks and put that on there. It's a little bit cheaper than a GoPro if you if you don't have a lot of these type of shots to shoot there's no sense in buying a GoPro you see that and then you could lock it in it's got a little ball ball and socket thing here pretty good this thing supports uh, doesn't support much weight so you couldn't put a DSLR on there or anything but uh, if you do it attaches to your car just watch this because it will blow in front of the lens so either take it off or wrap it around real good but uh, I'll show you how I attach it to the car alright so you got this little suction cup thing like I said um, you can put it on glass. All you do is flip the little tab down. Make sure your uh, ball and socket's in there. And there you go. Or you can even put it on the side of your car right here. Just make sure <laughs> before you take off that it's real secure. See, that one wasn't secure. So. Um, you can even put it on top of your car like this. I did that, but I, I made a little short video just uh, with a couple of different shots actually put on my car. So you can see what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Here's a short little video. Subscribe. I've got uh, other videos on little gizmos like this. So.